Welcome to this short video presentation. My name is Victor Snook. I am the Senior BIM Consultant at Address. The two elements I'll be looking at in this presentation are all to do with Revit Structures 2013. The first element I'll be looking at is uh, manipulation of the analytical model. So now we get direct manipulation of analytical flaws and you can see the openings here so we can actually modify a modify flaws and we can actually pick and choose whether we actually want to show flaws as part of the analytical model uh, direct management of openings we also get visibility of analytical nodes so we now get to see all of the analytical nodes which I can actually modify okay so if I go to Revit okay this is a very very simple um, Revit, uh, Revit structures model Okay, for the first things we're going to look at is to do with the floors and openings. So what you can see on here is the actual floor itself inside my model has got an opening inside of it. Okay, if I flip to the analytical model, you'll notice that the floor doesn't actually appear on the analytical model. Okay, if I select the analytical model, and okay, I can adjust analytical model. As soon as I go to adjust it, I then get openings, and if I select the opening tool, um, on the analytical model, I get a small tick box that appears in my opening, so I can actually pick and choose whether I want to show the hole in the floor as part of the analytical model or not. So I'm going to say, yes, I wish to show that, so now it will be taken as part of the analytical model. What we can also do for 2013, if I start to uh, select one of these, which is the analytical model for a column, sometimes the analytical model isn't the way you'd, you'd require it to be. So what you can do now is if you can select any item that has an analytical element to it, I can adjust the analytical. Okay. I can then hover over and I can pick one of the nodes at either end of my analytical model and I can actually change the analytical model without affecting the component, the um, column, the beam or the brace in the actual Revit model. Okay. The next thing I want to look at is um, analytical links. So, okay, as you can see from this one here, what we've got is the beam um, doesn't actually join the column. Okay, this may be the requirement inside the modeling. Okay, because you may want to put a plate onto um, the beam for it to be able to be attached to the column. This you may not want the analytical model to look the same. So what you can do now is you can add analytical links. So the manual creation, there's different types, visibility of analytical links, and those links will be transferred over to robot to robot structural analysis. Okay, so have a look at analytical links. Okay, so if I go to the 3D model, what you can see around the other side is I've actually got two beams with a gap in between the two. This might be perfectly acceptable for my model, but I actually want my analytical model to join together. So this is where um, links come in. So if I go to the analytical model, and I go to the same uh, portion of the model, which is here, okay, right, if I select one of my beams, I get the chance to adjust an analytical model. On the adjust analytical model, I can say create analytical link, and then I can create a link between one point and the other. Select node one and node two, and it will actually place an analytical link between the two, which goes and completes the analytical model without me having to model all of the physical columns and beams to be the way they require to be. Under your types, there's different types, so translation, rotation, we get the chance to actually specify how the um, analytical link will meet one another. We can also make a duplicate for different types. I'm just going to finish that up. And the thing to bear in mind with analytical links, even though I've actually adjusted the analytical model, so we've linked all of the uh, analytical nodes together, it hasn't actually affected my 3D model. Okay, thank you for watching this short presentation. If you require any more information about Revit structures or any of the things you've seen in this video or any of the videos we've produced, please have a look on our YouTube site. The address is here. 
You can have a look on our website, contact our website, www.address.co.uk, or you can phone the number at the bottom and we'll be more than willing to help you out. Thank you for watching this video.